there's nothing to freak out about. When you get behind the wheel of that car, you see incredible maps. You can pan and zoom on those maps. Uh, all the controls for the vehicle are on that touch screen. So Tesla has replaced the buttons, the, the dials, the switches in the car, and everything is controlled on that touch screen, as well as then your radio, your heating, cooling, and the navigation. It's a connected car as well, so the car can receive over-the-air software updates, but also do navigation searches and get stream data from Google satellite imagery. Yeah, I actually test drove one of those. I think it's a safer screen than a smaller one that you have. It, it really is. I think what we find is that having powerful graphics performance in the car, the ability to have very realistic graphics images in the car and responsive graphics images actually makes it safer. For people who are trying to touch a touch screen and it doesn't respond and they touch it again or they try to pan something and it doesn't respond, that becomes more frustrating and distracting to the driver than a responsive system that you'll find here in the Tesla Model S.